Welcome to a new episode in the 23 collection of stories in 23 days, Michael Jordan edition. This story is about Michael Jordan's revenge. He savagely went in on Ray Allen and his coach, and then Glenn Robinson tried to tell MJ that he wasn't the same MJ, and MJ retaliated. This is the story about the day that MJ went in on the Milwaukee Bucks and dominated after a return to the NBA. If you're enjoying the 23 episodes in 23 days collection of stories by MJ, I'd greatly appreciate if you guys could help me out. They take so much time to edit and produce for you guys, so the one thing I'd love for you to do is hit that like button. It really does support the channel. Can we aim for 3,000 likes for the next episode tomorrow? If you're new around here, be sure to hit that subscribe button for MJ content every single day in December. And hit that notification button so you stay up to date with all the new videos when they release. All the footage used in this video and credits to them is located on the screen right now and the links are in the description box down below if you want to watch them in full. I don't want to keep you waiting and without further ado, welcome to the day that Michael Jordan savagely went in on Ray Allen in front of his coach and said he's actually doing a good job. Obviously, Mike is a whole different story for everybody regardless of your position or whatever. Just to play against Chicago, that's the only time that my city get, really get a chance to see us play. Jordan was retired. Michael, almost two years ago, you left basketball. You wanted to get away from the media. They had no more challenges. Less than two years, you're, you're back. One thing I, I kind of totally forgot, you know, once I retired 18 months ago was my love for the game of basketball. As much as I tried to stay away from the game, I mean, the more times that I played, the more times that my appetite got wet. He didn't come back until I think maybe the last 20, 30 games of the season after our All-Star break. Mm. So at the time, we played them the, the very last game of the uh, regular season, I believe. I ate my best meal. I got a good nice rest. You know, I, I read that damn scout report a couple of times, <laughs> you know. <laughs> I was just excited, man. I, I was ready to play not only against him, but just to play against the Bulls, man. Down low they go. Robinson in the lane, fades away, and hits. Back to Robinson. Baseline jump shot to win, Robinson hits. So, you know, I, I wasn't, you know, I was like, okay, that's Mike, but I felt like I saw everybody, so I was like, I'm going to bust their ass. You know, I played well. Actually, I had 36 that game. Plus, Jordan had number 45. So he looked a little different. MJ. Stops. Goes inside. Was looking for Tony going to the basket. Tony didn't do it. Now Robinson comes up. He'll take a three. Line drive. That wasn't right. the same Jordan. That wasn't right, the 23 right. Jordan. Hey, well, we grew that, up that we grew up watching. But anyway, it was a big article in the paper, you know. Big dog, you know, the rookie, he outscored Mike, this and that. Looks down, finally finds Glenn Robinson with Jordan on him. Glenn Robinson with the turnaround. Robinson with the long deuce and the basket as Robinson fades away and hits again. Day goes down low, Glenn Robinson. Glenn Robinson for a three. Now wants to back in against MJ. Milwaukee fans love this one. Robinson with a rebound, put it in. In the middle, Glenn Robinson with a jumper. Back to Glenn Robinson. Robinson pushes off, gets the 15 footer to go. <laughs> and um, now, hey, let me finish now. When he came in, he didn't have no training camp. He just came in off the yeah. streets and started uh -huh. like playing. So if you look at the numbers he was putting up there, that's kind of insane. <laughs> but he had the full season now, training camp. He got a chance to get, you know, everything in. And, Fellas, it was like he read that shit. Next game, he <laughs> had to make a point. It was like he read I gotta that, man, make it. I got to make an example. Man, the next season, when when he, now keep in mind, he came in. 23. Absolutely. Down the left side, Michael stops from 15. Tied at 23 now is Michael with Hancock on him. Backs his way in, spins, fades from 15, MJ. MJ's been quiet for a little while and ends that drought. MJ comes inside, fakes in the lane, fadeaway jumper. Yes, and it counts. Michael drops it home. Bounces down low, MJ fadeaway from 15 and hit. Open down low, not a bad pass. MJ's pretty good choice too. They take one here. Shot so caught a new 24, yeah. MJ fadeaway jumper. Oh, he almost broke Johnny Newman's ankle. <laughs> but the Bulls do win it here. 
course, he averaged about 45, 46 against us. But you know who had to pay. You, hey, you know who had to uh, eat, eat most of the buckets? Ray. Hired up and down the floor. Allen turns and looks. MJ hits again. Kicks it out. MJ fade away from 17. Knocks it in. And over to MJ on the wing. Saw him hanging on to those shorts for a minute from 15 on the fadeaway. Right. <laughs> Not right. me. Ray Allen, tough job for a young rookie to walk out and face a legend. <laughs> That's a legend, and you're playing with his equipment all the time. <laughs> right. Everybody knows who Air is, right? Because Mike wanted to kill you. Mm -hmm. Was he mean to you? No, he wasn't. He actually killed me slowly. And uh, <laughs> yeah, he he would comment to the coach, he's actually doing a great job out here. And meanwhile, he's born in 45. <laughs> Wait, he's talking uh, to your coaches? Yeah, I remember uh, Chris Ford, he's, he's yelling at me. Chris Ford's yelling the whole time. He's like, rookie, get in front of him, get in front of him. And I'm fronting him on the post, and MJ just kind of slowly kind of glides across the floor, and he gets the ball and shakes and scores. And I did everything the game plan said, and then there's a breaking action. We're sitting there, and, you know, Chris Ford is just down there just hammering me, and MJ was like, he, he's doing a great job, coach. He's actually doing a great job. And meanwhile, he's got 45 on the books. So I was like, yeah. Hey, you but know? look, that's why, that's why, that's why Ray, Ray to his credit, why, look, AKA Jesus Shuttleworth, that's why he is, he's the first, he's Mr. Jordan brand. MJ said, you know what? You worthy. I'm going to make you the first one. He the, he the first member of the whole Elite League Assassins that Jordan started creating. Mike grabbed him first. Yeah. I played against him, and, you know, MJ just had everything, you know, from, Mid range to three point to post up game, and he could score and dominate in each position. And defensively, he he was a two way player. Defensively, he was incredible and just as dominant. Did you think that Mike didn't want you taken out because he had forty five in the books? Like he wanted you to guard him? No, I honestly believe that he he didn't think that anybody could stop him. He could score whenever he wanted to score, uh, wherever he wanted to score. So it didn't matter what I did out on the floor. He was going to get his touches. He's going to get his points. I played in between both those eras, and the rules were totally different. Like, you can't touch a guy now. You know, you a guy will go to the free throw line 20, 25 times a game just off of ticky-tack stuff. But he used to, and Phil Jackson said this uh, when he was promoting his book years ago, if Mike played today, he'd, he would average 45 in his prime. Easy. You believe that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's just not a comparison. To compare what we do now and what's going on now to what's happened in the 80s and the 90s. When it get down to 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 just the killer mentality and the killer instinct, can't nobody get up in that room with Kobe and MJ. They belong in that room by their damn self. Right. They, can't nobody come can't nobody come up in there. Like right. when you talk about the 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 set of what they bring to the table and how like what I fight you, I I score 60 on you, I, you know what I'm saying? I lock right. you down like they by themselves. Yeah. They by themselves in that room. Can't nobody else grace that joint with them. All right. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did and you want to stay up to date with all the new Michael Jordan videos in December, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you are new, and hit that notification button. Let's aim for 3,000 likes for the next episode tomorrow. Here are two new MJ videos that I think you will love and enjoy, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Take care.